and to the um, the extraordinary amount of environmental costs for flying that rocket when you could have flown a much more efficient plane to do the same thing is like what are you doing you know um and that's some, one of the things that people don't really realize about artificial or uh, about generative ai is that the resource consumption required to develop these models and also use these models is quite extraordinary. And oftentimes people are using them for tasks that could be achieved with highly efficient, different AI techniques. And you're, but because we use the sweeping term AI to mean anything, then people just think, oh yeah, right, right. I'm just gonna use ChatGPT for my one-stop mm. shop solution for anything AI related. So right now data centers globally, I think are about three, 3.5% of CO2 emissions, I think. The, the data centers right. for AI are a tiny fraction of that, but obviously they're growing at an extraordinary pace. Yeah. Are there any numbers out there with regards to projected CO2 emissions of data centers globally 5, 10, 15 years from now? Or is that all still, it's so recent that we can't really speculate about the numbers involved. There are numbers around the energy consumption, which you could then use to yeah. kind of try and project, uh, project carbon emissions. 